Hey everybody, this is Pun Frugal Streamer, and I have a brand new tutorial for you. Now, this is going to cover a brand new feature that Streamlabs OBS has now that a lot of single PC streamers will love. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so what is this new feature that Streamlabs came out with? Well, for you single PC guys, this is great because this will allow you to interact with your community. And this is an in-game overlay of your Twitch chat or YouTube, you know, chat, Facebook chat, whatever, and your recent events, alerts, you know, that you have follows, you know, donations, all that sort of stuff. So how do you get to it? Well, it's easy to do. First of all, you need to bring up Streamlabs OBS. Then go to your upper right hand corner where settings is at little gear here and then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to game overlay on the about midway left side here and when you click on the game overlay then you get the ui for it and here you can enable the in-game overlay so you click it to turn it on and you see we have show chat show recent events toggle positioning mode overlay opacity okay so you see now this is the two boxes that will represent recent events in chat and this position is terrible so what we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 50%. Okay. Now I can go in and I'm going to toggle position mode and I'm going to move chat over here and I'm going to move recent events over here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to toggle position mode. I toggle position mode back to off. It moves the boxes to where I put the new position. And then what you need to do, like here, you see that that, that the data is not actually showing up. So just disable and re-enable the in-game overlay, and it should refresh them in due time. And there you go. So you can see the stream chat. Let's bring 100% back up so you can see it good. So you have the default uh, stream chat, and then you have your recent events right here, which will update automatically as you're streaming and people chat to you or you have an event that happens so it's really awesome now i'd prefer like i said to bring mine down to 50 percent and then you can kind of see how it looks like in a game like say battlefield 5. all right so then once you get the game overlay in the position that you want it in what you'll need to do is you'll need to set a keybind so you could do that inside of obs again by going to hotkeys and what I've done is I've used Control Alt F7 in the toggle in game overlay. Okay. But I've also, because I have a Stream Deck, I've also added it there. So it's just a button on the Stream Deck here. And this is just a simple uh, key overlay that you find in the system right here hotkey switch. And I've added the Alt, Control Alt F7 also there, which if you see there, I've added it twice, so if I press it, it turns it on, and if I press it again, it turns it off, like so. Okay, so that is uh, how you can do it, and when you bring the game up, if it's not showing up, then of course you just hit your key, and it'll pop up in the game, and it works great. All right, that is in-game overlay in a nutshell. This is a great feature that Streamlabs team has added to Streamlabs OBS. And with single PC live streaming becoming more relevant with the new processing power that we have available to us for a cheap price compared to what it was a couple years ago, um, this is going to be used by a lot of people. And I think it's a perfect time for it to come out. So if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that thumbs up thumbs down if you didn't like it and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when i'll have a new video that goes live uh, i do appreciate it guys thanks for watching this is pun the frugal streamer have a great rest of your week we'll see you later bye bye